Jonathan Schlatt himself. Shut up, bro. No. No one fucking cares about Jay Schlatt. Okay, I gotta change Fuck my name. Fuck him now. and his stupid fucking mutton chops. Okay, I gotta change my name. He's mind. ugly as fuck. Just Schlatt. And any girl who thirsts over him is a stupid whore. I see guys thirsting over corpse husband. They don't even know what he looks like. I don't like those people. I don't like girls who do that either. I wish all people who like Corpse Husband and Jay Schlatt sexually a very terrible day. Hola mamacitas y papicitos. Welcome to your paradise. As if this oversaturated medium couldn't have gotten worse, we've decided to add another podcast to the mix. Follow along as these workers at the Hispanic Hotel tell you their tales as they sit on break. We hope you enjoy your stay at the Hispanic Hotel. <laughs> Anyways... Welcome to the Hispanic Hotel. Yeah, We're your humble know, workers. Started. What? I didn't even realize we started. We did. I'm Anthony. That's it. What? That's Guys. It. No, that's it. I'm Anthony. I'm Freddie. Kevin? And I am Matthew Miss Kim Renato. And that's Kevin. Mm-hmm. And He's welcome to our humble hotel. Disclaimer, he is not Ms. Kip. We do not have Ms. Kip. We don't him. have him on, no. no he's... Oh, you like my face shield? Oh, it's on my face shield now. Heck yeah, yeah. Face shield. we need it for school. Yeah, you need it for school. For... Like, why not just wear a mask? So we have to do that, and if we go in labs, we have to wear the face shield. Mm-hmm. It's it, weird. It's weird. Well, you go to school in person sometimes, Kevin? Yeah, he has a in person yeah, wow. class. What did we do today, boys? We went and ate pizza. And yeah, that's honestly all we did. <laughs> we recorded something for my class. A non stop shot. Last time we recorded a podcast, I didn't have a girlfriend. Now, how much? How long has it been? A little bit over a month. Since our last podcast? Or. Oh, well, I don't know. Look our on last your computer. end of December. Yeah, I didn't have like I didn't have a girlfriend yet, bro. Wow, cool. It was uploaded the day we first kissed. <laughs> Cause I remember a month ago. What what day is that? December thirtieth, twenty twenty. Yeah, it's been a while, guys. Shit. Shout out to my girlfriend. She beautiful or whatever. Shout out mental illness. <laughs> 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 What? Shout out mental illness. Y'all yes, fucked up. I got depression. <laughs> R.I.P. Benny White. She ain't dead yet. But Let's call this episode the Love Doctor episode. Mm. What Florida. are your qualms with love, boys? I ain't got no hoes. That's the problem. Kevin? I don't try. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, that's what my mom says. She's like, you don't try. And I'm like, okay, cool. Don't need to. Bitches come to me. <laughs> He's a chick magnet. <laughs> yeah, she's like, she's like, all you do is stay in your computer. Dude. Almost like we're in a panoramic or something. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really get the opportunity to go outside that much. See, you'll know you can get a girlfriend easy peasy when the girl becomes your best friend. Easy. Or you can get really hard. Fly. Or you can go on Tinder. Hard cock. And get mm, hookups. Mm. Yes. Bobbert Schmurder. He was released from prison. Damn, it's been like six, seven years since he got <laughs> My man don't know what Instagram really looked like. <laughs> he had the old Instagram. The one with I, like I the that. blue top. And the that shit. He'd be like, damn, what is this TikTok shit? <laughs> <laughs> he don't know what Vine is. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. <laughs> nah, he got big during the Vine era. Oh, you're right. You're like, right. That was like 2014. 2014. He, he don't know it closed. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what happened to Vine? What's musically? What's TikTok? <laughs> Where, where's Thomas Sanders? Team no, Elf? No. Where's King Batch? <laughs> <laughs> Is he still popular? Can we talk about how those fucking Vine people try to become actors and actresses oh. and they failed miserably? No, Lele Pons is still she, doing something. She, she has shit. a top hit, apparently. She shit. No, but she She's has one of the top songs right now. I don't care. It's pretty oh, weird. She shit. What was that bit? I Superwoman? Oh, that her fucking that's her name right oh where she made that horrible ass t- she, she was late night show. a late night host yeah that's and it was like that thing? I think that's so that's the same thing it's, it's isn't same. that her yeah, yeah it's the same it's her the same like it wasn't even like at late night it was like after a late night show not the same. it was like early morning is it Isaac oh oh yes that's a little yes I but like 
her, it was, it was a fucking like, like the Daily Report with like Trevor Noah type shit, mm-hmm. but completely garbage because she's not funny. I hated that. Didn't it like get canceled? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure it did. <laughs> garbage. God, I hate that. The thing is, like all those like biters, like we just grew out of their humor. They, wow. they weren't they even that funny that. then. They weren't that funny. Looking back, you talk about King Bat. It's easy to say one thing in a span of six seconds and make it funny. Poopy. Like I could, <laughs> like you could say poopy, and I'll laugh because it's funny. Whatever they did doesn't translate to like it, longer forms of media. Like. What was that one guy who was really, he was really racist. What? And he's like, what am alone? Oh. I think that was Jerry Perkins. That guy. Or maybe it was one of those. They guys. perpetuated stereotypes for their own cultures. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. They which is really, that. yeah, they did, which is really fucked up. Yeah, I remember that. I remember seeing those. They videos. set a whole generation of young black kids back, <laughs> which is fucking stupid. Watermelon. Oh. TikTok's alright, though. TikTok's okay. Charles, Let's I talk hear. about TikTok Charles, for a minute. How many hours I have on TikTok? I think I have an addiction to TikTok. Dude, I swear to God, I laid in my bed and then I got up like three hours later. <laughs> and I'm like, what just happened? Like, I don't know what it is. It isn't that great, but there's just so many, like... You could... Because you swipe up to, like, yeah. keep going. So it's addicting. You're like, ooh, ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece and then candy. you just find those videos that are, like, gold. And it's like... And then it's like, fuck. ooh. Damn, that shit was hitting. Let's see. I just used TikTok last week for only five hours. <laughs> <laughs> only? Only. I used YouTube... 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like YouTube. Uh, I like Let me check my screen. I think my favorite thing about TikTok is about how fucking disgusting the people on there are. <laughs> what the hell? I spent seven hours on Dokkan Battle. Seven hours? There was that gross white guy. You know who I'm talking about? He looks like an egg. And he was like grooming kids. Or trying to. Oh, that was like years ago. I know, but that's what? still fucking... That was like OG TikTok. That's so fucked up. Excuse me? Really... Yeah, so like... He would do it. Remember back during the golden age of TikTok? So why you good? Yeah. Girls? He would do it, um, underage girls and boys, and he'd be like, just licking his lips and shit. Are you looking it up? Yes. TikTok bald pedophile. <laughs> Look that up. Damn, I spent almost three oh, hours. That, that guy, yeah, that oh. guy. He looks like a fucking ogre. Oh <laughs> my god, I remember this actually. Yeah. Damn, I've been consistently spending like one, two hours on TikTok every day. <sighs> that shit's nuts, bro. It's a fucking time hole when you go on to a TikTok. No, I hate it. Sometimes it's funny. I'll give it that. But it, it's literally just Vine, though. Just longer. Just longer yeah. with more editing. And you get paid on it. Yeah. <laughs> I forget how it is. It's per view, I think. Did it? Didn't the Vine people have like a whole ha- hotel thing dedicated yeah, to them? Yeah, it was on Vine Street. They had Vine Street? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Yeah, that's where Logan Paul was. That was there. after it died, right? They're like, let's become famous and we'll have a Vine <laughs> house. That's like a streamer we'll house, but vine like two. 40 times less cool. We'll make, we'll make Vine It's two. like the precursor to Team 10 and all those hype houses. God, that's probably what made them think, let's live with our friends. <laughs> Yeah, but that's what a lot of people do. They just look like their friends. Yeah, because rent is fucking astronomical and scary. Yes, yes. And my my mom kept telling me about this. She's like, you gotta pay bills, you gotta pay water, you gotta pay here. And I'm like, stop, stop, stop. stop." I don't want to adult, mother. I'm like, give me positive shit. Don't give me negative (laughs) shit that I'm gonna die. You'll live alone. (laughs) No one will love you. What are you talking about? I have millions of people online. Where? Shit. <laughs> Fuck. How many subscribers do we have, Kevin? 30 31. Plus. Let's go. We I, I, I know that. We can get more. Because it's it. so specific. It doesn't fluctuate ever. <laughs> we, need, we need a 50 sub special. We're not even at 40. <laughs> we just hit 30. Hey. Upwards momentum. There's only one way to go, and it's up. I mean, if you look at the subscriber chart, it's... Diagonal. I actually want to do something for a summer. 
when everyone's gone from my house, you guys can come over and we'll do a cooking what? show. Well, yeah, we can Ooh, do that. That's a good idea. I'll, I'll, I'll be the host. I'll bring the, the, the Hello, chef everybody. hat. Ooh, Ooh. Chef hat. How much is Get chef? one of those Kiss the Chef aprons. Kiss the Chef and bring him a beer. <laughs> Yes, even though I can't drink yet. I oh, never mind. I'm gonna get this one. Oh, let's go. Is that tucked into his pants or is he wearing it? <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> wearing oh. it. <laughs> oh, people don't know. It's um. A it's an apron, apron with abs. Yeah, yeah, you can put a, you can put a picture. In. I'm not. Just save the picture. Right I'm now. not. Kevin can. He doesn't I edit these. Edit I edit the podcast. Speaking of edits. We saw two sh- uh, Yeah, two we have two it. things on the back burner, <laughs> which is the now. Stock Image Storytime D and D special, and our board game night, which was maybe three months ago. God, <laughs> like damn. God, we gotta damn. shoot. We gotta shoot another episode of that. But Daniel's in here, oh, fucking yeah. Cali now. Everyone's leaving here because it's too cold. Well, New Jersey. Ah, uh, yeah, New Jersey oh, is scary. Yeah. Well, no, we no. moved to New Jersey. Like, it's just disgusting here. But Cali's worse. Look, look, like, I wouldn't want to live there. I want to breathe their air. I don't, yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't even want to think about their air. Like, damn. How long is he gone for? I want to play unmatched. He's you not. just go in his house and grab it. Unless Same he brings it with him. Why would he bring it? Why would he bring it with him? It's just him and his girlfriend. Exactly, they'll play on. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna play unmatched together? <laughs> yes. I, I kept saying that to my girlfriend when she was over. I'm like, you wanna play unmatched? <laughs> <laughs> I like pointed at. I'm like, you wanna play board games? <laughs> and you specifically. Uh, well, I pointed at it because it's on my shelf. Don't pick King Arthur though. He's <laughs> <trash>. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> don't. garbage. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you wanna pick something, pick Sinbad. Sinbad. Sinbad and Medusa Broken. Top tier. Is this podcast coming out before we upload that on the Yeah, know. probably. Because <laughs> yeah. I can edit this tonight and get it up. Let's oh, yeah, it's season two. Oh, shit. Welcome to season Ooh, two. 2021. Maybe. Season two, and only three of us are here. Pause. Everyone gave up, and now we only run this shit. Well, what's Roberto no, doing? No, I didn't give up. Who? What's Roberto doing? Who? Oh. <laughs> Who? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, I've been trying to go over the- uh, trying to grow on Twitter. Oh, and it's thing. not working at all. It really is. You don't have any banger tweets, man. I made a Tumblr for my little MS Paint art. Are you sure? Um, what do we got? I got Getting Back to Wizard 101, Superb Game Time. How many, How likes? many likes? How many likes? How many likes? Who? <laughs> and it's for me? I, I have an irrational fear of men. Not no, funny? It, no, it says, and he likes his own No, tweets. it says, I have a rational fear of men. Oh, it doesn't. It, it doesn't say irrational, it says rational. <laughs> and then I have this one that just says men. Men. Men, I'm going to break my monitor. I swear. I swear. Bruh. 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 fucked up. Like, damn, Kevin. Where are the banger tweets, bro? You can't come up with no bangers. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Nope. Okay, post one right now. Just shit myself. Let's go. You're not Profanity. allowed. Profanity. <laughs> you're not allowed to say the S word, bitch. Felt good. <laughs> no, don't put that shit. <laughs> you're gonna go on fetish Twitter. Oh no. Anything but fetish Twitter. Just like post a picture of your dick or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. That'll get you famous. I like that. that the okay. smallest cock on the planet. You like that? Uh, Let's go. Stop scrolling through Twitter. I'm sorry, it's too addicting. You keep scrolling through Twitter during podcasts. Two it's, in a row. It's so addicting, though. But I mean, yes, since it's, it's season two, and we never fully went into everything, what's it, some topics we should cover in season two? The fact that we're bad at Valorant, and oh. it, it's more specifically me and Freddy. Okay, I have my I have my good day. No, you're, you're, good days like every day is a bad day. Apparently, <laughs> I'm wildly inconsistent. Uh huh. <laughs> like just like us in this podcast. Woo. Sometimes it's good, other times it's horrible. But yeah, I'm just I'm just trash sometimes. Most of the time. Oh. Every time. Not all the time. Sometimes I just be like guns out blazing. We still never had our full track episode where we talk about track. 
Yikes. I mean, we have talked about Track Wars. We've talked Stay about it, but we've never, like, dedicated it. I mean, we've, we've already, like, spoken about many stories. Yeah. Like, but what's, what's a story we haven't covered? Remember when Kevin got the splinter? On your finger? When? We were... Where Ooh. were we? I think I remember. We went we we went to warm up because this was at a meet, and we oh, ran over to that big wooden bridge that oh, it has. Stop. And Kevin goes down, oh, and he comes oh, back yeah. up, <laughs> and he's just like, oh, <laughs> it hurts. and there's just a fat fucking splinter in his finger, oh, and we I can't get that. it out. Ah, fuck that, fuck that. I started, I started biting my skin. Yeah, out. you had like a hole in your hand. <laughs> Fuck that! Oh, that, that hurt me thinking about it. Wait, wait, wait you get copyright? No, play the Among Us song. If I do, <laughs> do it right. Wait. All right. All right. They, right. they can't hear it, Kevin. Yeah, I know, cause they're not. Do it right. <laughs> I get to the rest of that. <laughs> Did, wait, did we ever discuss the the the, the fucking bee incident? Oh, bee cross in cross. Oh, with my. I bee don't incident. know. Oh, it was the bee did it was the bee sting party. your neck or was it Daniel's neck? What? Yeah. Okay. 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 This I don't was like. Know. This was like back where you get hurt. Was apparently. this like your freshman year? I think this was your freshman. I think. Or your sophomore. Yeah, one of those two. Like we, uh, I think we were like coming back to the bus from a cross meet, mm-hmm. and like. For whatever reason, like, was it a bee or a wasp? I it think was it was a bee. bee. Like a big ass bee. Just decided to just come up and sting Kevin <laughs> in the back of the neck. And, and when it tried to pull the stinger out, it wouldn't. So it was, <laughs> Last it, was it was like squirming all around while still inside Kevin. Ooh, we so fuck. Daniel had to come up and fucking slap the back of his neck <laughs> to try and get rid of the bee. And only then did it like let go and fly away and I don't know, fucking die. <laughs> but, but like, yeah, Kevin keeps getting. We thought the singer was still there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Yeah, Kevin. Kevin just loves getting hurt for some reason. And then. Ew. Did you get fuck? hurt now? No, there's some weird shit. It's cause you left that shit on the floor when we were at the oh, park. Fuck. Oh yeah, that might be true. Right. Um, your camera bag. Me. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, and then I didn't tell the coaches, and then they got mad at me. They got they mad at you that, for getting stung by a bee. Yeah, cause I didn't tell them. What, what the fuck are they gonna do? I mean, if you were allergic, then obviously we would have said something. But no, cause I never got stung by a bee um, that frequently. Oh. That's... oh. I've been stung by a bee one time in my entire life. Me too. I hate bees. I run away. Mine and was... it was by a bee in a river. <laughs> okay, so my family was in vacation uh, in DR a couple yes. of years back. Um, and for whatever reason, like, I don't know why, but they just love to, like, hang out in rivers sometimes. Yo, that's, that's what happens in DR. It's kind of dope. It's kind of dope, actually. But, like, we were just chilling. Like, we, we drove out to the river. We we're just sitting in a bunch of like plastic chairs that they had set up in the river. Yes, sir. Like my uh, my my toes were in the water, my feet were in the water. Chilling. Me and my family, chilling. straight up chilling. I and all Lord. of a sudden I feel like a sharp pain in like my my fucking leg. Appy. And and like <laughs> the river bee. <laughs> yeah. A bee. I don't know if it was dead or alive, but like the bee was just strolling on down the river. Like, the motherfucker had gills. In the water. <laughs> And it stung me. And that was the first time I've ever been stung by a bee. <laughs> the first time I got stung by a bee. So this was at one of our river cleanups for the high school. Uh huh. So we were at um. Damn, we got it first thing. Yeah, we gotta school. tell them about our river. <laughs> oh God. So we, I was I was down there and I we were like in the little park by it right, and they were like telling us to like get ready for the picture, and there, there's like a bee. I'm like, let me swat this shit out the air and kill it. <laughs> I swat it and it hits my fucking knee, and the stinger just goes in. I'm like, Ooh! <laughs> and that was the first time mm, I ever got stung by a bee. Yeah. Uh, Cause I fucking punched it and it fell into my f- fucking kneecap and stung me and it hurt. And I like squeezed it so it died and I ripped it out and I was really scared oh. where the stinger went. Oh, that, that's disgusting. Oh Yikes. god. Oh god. Like, um, just for some context, like, our, our high school, 
used to do like a bunch of like river cleanups every I really every semester or whatever. Trash. Fucking disgusting there. Like, yeah. It's disgusting. We're not gonna tell you the name of the river. I have found a lot of gross stuff there. Oh yeah. Probably. Uh, uh, a knife? Yeah, a dull knife. <laughs> like like an army knife. Like it was like an old army knife. My sister I found was there. A, my sister found a taser. A taser? <laughs> we found like a million syringes. Yeah. Oh yeah, we found like a bunch of syringes, condoms. We found a like, whole people bike. People just be fucking down there. <laughs> we found a door. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, like, like that river is disgusting as shit. So they make us high school students go go there for like community service or. Whatever. Hey, I don't mind. We get out of class. I mean, yeah, that's the only good part. But yeah, exactly. We still gotta clean up that nasty ass river. But it's fire though. It's yeah, kind of fun. It's, I'm not I mean, gonna it's lie. To it's kind of fucking fun. Cause you, it's just like primal instinct of scavenge, <laughs> and it's like must go into river, I like must find rock. I bought mm, my speaker, rock. so it was so much better. <laughs> Lucky, sweet, sweet. the first time we <laughs> did the river cleanup, there you go like down by the little bank that's there, and it's like where the little waterfall thingy is. I remember Adams was like walking on this tube. He's like, Anthony, hold me. I'm like, okay. So I'm grabbing him and I like fall a little bit and he just like dunks his feet in the water. I'm like, oops. Oh, <laughs> that's not, that's nasty, bro. That's nasty. What else was there? The, we had that Thanksgiving drive. What was it for trip? No, 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 no. Just for the high yeah. school. Yeah, this was for the high school. And like, I remember, so we didn't know there was a difference between the vegan meal and the normal meal. They just gave us them and didn't tell us. I didn't have them. What? So we kept giving people who didn't get turkeys or weren't vegan turkeys. We were just giving them out. It's like, well, what are you supposed to do? I, I, we just left. <laughs> what? I was so confused. I'm like, what? Did you just left? Yeah. So you just gave a bunch of non-vegan people no, vegan. not just that. We gave people who didn't order the turkey. Turkey. Turkeys. <laughs> didn't even know. I'd love to see that. Damn, there goes the good deeds. That was, that was good deeds, so. I mean, I, I didn't have any issues when I did that. Thing. What's some cool community service? Nothing. Or, no. no you, got, you gotta have some. What, what's, what's cool? What's cool? What is community service that we've done? Um, oh, the, 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 the track meets. The oh, those. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. those were fun. Those are fun. Definitely. Those are like the fun community service moments. Yeah, those are fun. Like during during winter track, the worst track. Um, That's we so would scary. hold we would hold like these uh, throwing meets. The only meets that would be thrown at our school because our track. It, it was required by us too. Yeah, well, we had to because it's an obligation to still hold events. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, someone's got to do it. Because we it's have fun. to waste the money and stuff. We have to gain the money to waste the money. That's how it it's economics works. Yeah, like, was it voluntary or did we have to go? No, you had, had to go. go. You had, had to, to at least do one. Yeah, we had to do at least one of those. And I went to, like, most of them, I think. And it was, it was actually pretty fun. I did it like, for college and then I never even used it. I had, like, 600 hours of community service. Because I coached, so I just used all those hours. Oh, yeah, you need a community service to That's weird. What the fuck are you doing, Kevin? Mm. Drink it some. But yeah, that those those throwing meets were fun. Cause like we didn't have to do that much. You just, just stood there and rolled the shots back. Yeah, maybe uh, some. Uh, oh my god, there's times where people like threw that shit and you had to like move out the way. Oh, yeah, bro. no shit. <laughs> Almost not. I hated measuring. Off. So you one there'd oh be like god. two, no. there'd be like two or three people like getting the shots. And then one person had to fucking find where to hit. Yeah. And you had to measure how what the distance was. That was the worst part. Because the official isn't going to be able to do that Whenever shit. Whenever I did it, I got self-conscious that I was, like, measuring it wrong. I'm like, I'm, not, I'm like, am I fucking this guy over? Like, nah, no, I'm not. Damn, did I just fuck up the whole competition? Did I just fuck up this guy's career? <laughs> did I just cost this guy a fucking scholarship? Well, what, what if this guy needed this this, <laughs> this certain uh, distance in order to fucking graduate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, just I, I got him. it off by like fucking quarter of an inch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah ooh, Kevin, what are, you, what are you You're fucking retarded, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. You fool. Join our Discord. Oh, we should do that. 
No. Make a Discord? No, no one's gonna be in it. We have 30 subs. Exactly! Half of them are us. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. Like, <laughs> it's just our Discord? <laughs> it's just our normal Basically. Discord. Uh, I love it. I mean, how many Discord servers are we gonna have? A lot. We already have the one, and then we already have the other one, and then we have the Hispanic Hotel Discord, and then we have our D and D Discord. Oh my God, we have a lot. Which we don't even use because we use the main Discord for our D and D purposes. Exactly. Oh God. Saikuno. Saikuno. Saikuno, come on to the podcast so I can beat you to fucking death. God. <laughs> that's how I, I love this. Me now. I fucking hate that one. I'm like, if you're so much of a pussy driver that you cry, <laughs> go, don't drive. Go rent a fucking moped. Just don't get astigmatism. Like, bro. Yo. What was I going to say? Bretman. Yeah. Bretman huh? Rock is a gamer now. Who? Who? This guy. I don't know who that is. Who the fuck? That's a child. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck? Can you get there this? There you go. Huh? <laughs> Why is his ass out? <laughs> this is some gay guy. Why, why are you showing us gay porn? <laughs> why, why is his ass out? Yo, Ant, why are you on? You left your computer on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't want to turn do it back disturb. on when I go on. That is true. Why do you have do not disturb? Because I don't want to hear all the doom, doom. Yeah. Do you get that many rooms? Yeah, Kevin, I'm in like a fucking hundred servers. Like, no, no, it's that always, is. it's always when I'm doing homework that you guys decide to start talking. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm trying, I'm trying to like finish an assignment before midnight, and all of a sudden it's just like, doo 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 doo. Like, damn, what do y'all want now? Oh man, I like it when John asks everyone and then no one responds. <laughs> I <laughs> just look at him like, okay, uh, like bro, Listen, we're man. all here. Just get in the call. Someone go in. Yeah, <laughs> I'll go in if I see someone else going. Yeah, I, exactly. I'll, if I see two or more people, I'll join. I'm not going in if it's just like no one, and then an at everyone. <laughs> so what do you want? <laughs> you can't just say that and then not tell me what you want. Like that yeah. is this I'll, true. I'll, I'll join if there are more people. Exactly. Yeah, there's a much else we can do. Let's talk about our D and D campaign. Ooh. So, I wait to stock your story time. Who fuck cares? Well, that's di- that's a different campaign that we talked about there. Uh, we talked about um, the old ones with the old the boys, OG. like Mandic and Acid. <laughs> but more information coming soon. Yeah, exactly. Are you looking up? Anyways. Okay. Kevin. I, I, I forgot I, I wanted this. Um. What? <laughs> That's garbage. <laughs> I hate that. So, anyways, about our um, D and D campaign for about Kevin. almost a year now. Yeah, we've been running this shit for so damn long. I've been running a Naruto campaign with Kevin. Hey, you guys want to join? <laughs> no. <laughs> Freddie, John, and Jeremiah's. Yes, and sir. Um, right now, they are in the midst of, they're in, I don't even remember, <laughs> it's been a while since we played. Are we in the fucking hospital? You're in, um, yeah, you you're know. in Iyashi, the I human I am homes. a cruel person in that. But this is a Naruto-centered oh, campaign in the I'm Naruto cruel. universe. I killed the child. Yeah, you oh. did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, our characters are low-key menaces. No yeah, mind. but most of all, Kevin's character is a <laughs> menace. Tell them about your characters, guys. Okay, so uh, I'll start off, I guess. My my character is named uh, Hajime. He is a uh, fine fellow who uses taijutsu. He is a gate user. Yeah. Uh, I the I haven't man. watched Naruto, but I've I kind of, I got I got a, a small idea of what the gates are. It's not a weeb. Yeah, he basically powers himself up and punches things really hard. Exactly. Kevin, awesome. tell them about Takuma. Oh, God. Oh, my character's Takuma. The test tube baby. Yes, I'm a test tube baby he from was, two males. He has a Rinnegan. <laughs> and he's the, um, the offspring of Naruto and, and Sasuke, Sasuke. Spe- uh, cells to recreate... Um, I have no mother. And no yeah, father. to try to recreate like a Rinnegan, basically. Wait, Naruto's your other dad? Yeah. yeah. I didn't even know that. Because <laughs> they got both of their cells and like to try to recreate like 
Yo, can I have Chroma? What? Can I have Chroma then? Cur no, why would you have that? <laughs> can you just give it to me? No. Damn it. But yeah, t tell us about so just a few of Takuma's antics. Yeah, tell us Oh, I get exploits. arrested a lot. Oh, he gets arrested a lot. Um, I vandalized stuff. You got arrested in the first session. Yeah. <laughs> Just because I vandalized the, 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 the Hokage. Yeah, he, like, I, I joined year. during the second or third session, and Takuma was already arrested. By he me. was in jail when you were <laughs> <put> in. <laughs> I, I, uh, I pickpocket people, oh, my, my teammates. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I, I kill children. <laughs> Tell them about that, Kevin. Oh yeah, tell him about that you how murdered, you murdered a, child. a child. Okay, first of all, he had it coming. <laughs> oh no, he did! No, he did! Okay, I, provide, I, provide backstory. All right, so we're Where right. were we? Why were I we there? Village, the village, the you were in Kumogakure. All right, that's okay. the village name. I everyone split up, right? And then no, yeah, no. You only split you split up. Oh yeah, because you said I'm gonna split. knock on this door. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you were just. I don't I know what you were doing, you were like doors. bothering the, the townspeople. Yeah, and then I think I, no, I didn't knock. Oh yeah, I said I wanted to use the, their shit. You wanted to use their bathroom. <laughs> oh yeah. And the lady, the shitter. big lady at the front door is like, yeah, come on in. <laughs> and so instead of just like, you know, going to the bathroom and. You raided you know, their fridge. Yeah. Like a normal person. <laughs> you went in their kitchen and started breaking shit. Like, you just started grabbing eggs and throwing them on the floor. Oh, yeah, I threw that. Yeah. Like, and, and then, then she called obviously, the, police. Oh. the mom got mad. Yeah. She called the police on you. Then the police came. No, no, no. Wait, well, okay, what are the events that transpired to you killing a kid? <laughs> that was it. That's he just... <laughs> but, like, did you kill the kid? Oh, like, no, no, no. The police came. The police and, came. and then I, I turned it on her. Yeah, you <laughs> managed to oh, yeah. say she was the one who fucked up. Oh yeah. yeah, so the police tackled the lady and they <laughs> pinned her down. Yeah. I don't know, by the way, I don't know how you rolled that well for just that. You only scenario. roll well in those fucking situations where you're alone. An, R an RP. Yeah, and you, only your RP though. Cause, yeah, exactly. Because let's be honest, Kevin does not do damage in combat. I don't. He doesn't use his abilities. I and make it harder for people. Well, he's actively trying to go against us. Yeah, Kevin's character is a renegade, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, um, the cops came, they pinned the lady down, and then, and then, how did you, what happened? I actually don't remember how I just killed the kid, dude. Little Jimmy was like running around, he's like, get up my mama! Oh, okay. And then you're just like, I'm gonna kick him. <laughs> and then I'm like, do you? And you're like, yeah. Yeah. And then I let you roll, and then he, he <laughs> Kumagakure is in the air, so he <laughs> went off the side of the <laughs> village. And then he landed in like some yeah. spikes. Yeah, 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 he landed in like a like spike jutting rocks, out whatever. rock spike. <laughs> and then Freddy's character, Hajime, <laughs> went to check on it. Like I see the I see the commotion because I don't know what happened. Obviously, uh, and oh um, no, but I drop kicked them. Yeah, you drop kicked them. You <laughs> said I dropped the, the city. city. Yeah. And then I and then I see the site like what's going on. I check in. I see a kid who's fucking impaled on the rocks. <laughs> I decide to go in and do my best to like I don't know get him out of there. He just fucking bleeds out. <laughs> and then wait wait, uh, you shit yourself. Yeah. When did that? Happen? You did, cause you never used the bathroom. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, cause you no. I said make a like a Wait, con save when you use the bathroom, <laughs> and you got like a one. I'm like, you poop. Oh, that's why. That's yeah. why. Yeah. So I then, then, then Takuma goes to the the like um the inn that's in Kumagakure, mm -hmm. and he walks over, and he, and he just smells like dog shit, <laughs> and his whole party's there, and everyone's like, I'm not dealing with this, and they all go to their rooms. Uh -huh. And you try talking to the bartender, <laughs> and the bartender, because you try to scam him, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but you smell like dog shit. And then you give him, like, fucking gold pieces, and have <laughs> shit on him. Yeah. And then he refuses to give you a room, and then w what, what happened? Like, he starts yeah. running away. No, 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 like, I, I think he kept it. antagonizing He handcuffed you. And then you. he called the cops on you. Yeah. Like, and like, then he, he, like, tackled you and tried to tie you up. Oh my god, I love and that. And then you managed to escape, yes. run up the stairs to go to the rooms, <laughs> birth a hole. <laughs> no, you went to Indra's room, yeah. which is John's character, an Uchiha. Mm -hmm. 
And you like broke into his room basically, and he left, went to Hajime's room. Mm -hmm. You went to the bathroom to shower so you didn't smell. And then you oh, heard a knock sorry, like yeah. doo, 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 on the door, and it was the bartender guy with the <laughs> cop. And you say, I use lava style on the wall. Yeah, <laughs> this is on the like wall. the second floor. And then he says, I summon a shadow clone, and it keeps going forward, and I go onto the roof. I'm like, okay. <laughs> And then he meets this guy named Aster up there who says, I'll cut you a deal and I'll, if you do me a favor, I'll erase the memories of this person. Of the entire or town. Or the entire um, town, yes. Yeah. And so like he's giving Takuma plot armor basically. For <laughs> free. No, no, no. Aster was always supposed to be in that fucking inn. He, I literally described him when you walked in. There's a pale man with the crown. Oh, yeah. And Kevin then gave you a reason to use. Kevin gave me a m multiple reasons to use. <laughs> and I'm like, this high level mage may as well be up there, I guess. And then he says, yeah, but uh, you you say you my whole something in return. yeah something like that. And for whatever reason, Kevin decides, oh, you can just put the tab on me and my entire team. We'll help. You. <laughs> Basically, I he had no reason. To do the that. thing is, I led him to say that. Because I talked about it. I'm like, oh, are you here alone? And he's like, no, my whole team's here. <laughs> Something like that. Um, and basically marinated him. I, I, I knew how to get it out of him. Oh, and I love it that every time I, I meet someone new, I call it. I don't use my real name. You say you're Hajime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no matter what, he always uses my character's name when introducing himself. Uh, it's funny as hell. To exonerate himself of blame. <laughs> like, I had I had to double check with the innkeeper like no I'm Hajime. <laughs> th th this is some fucking idiot. Some I'm not him. Bitch. But then that favor came back to bite all of them in the fucking dick hole. Which yeah, by the yes. way he didn't have to pass on to us. But, no uh, not at all it would have just happened to him. But let me give you the breakdown of what this campaign is. So it is a these the four people in the party uh, are uh, they start off as graduates from the ninja academy and become genin this is all set in the naruto universe so they're all they're all in konoha all from different <clears throat> backgrounds so jeremiah's character mugen was an orphan from sunagakure and his dad was gar and he managed to get to there um john's character indra is the son of itachi and that plays into the story and stuff and he he was he's half tiefling so he ends up like inheriting like some houses in the Uchiha village when he leaves these tiefling villages Hajime's character or Freddy's character is an orphan and he was raised by Guy that's why he knows the eight gates and Kevin is a test tube baby yes yeah, <laughs> oh talk about the, the baby dragon oh my god the crucified one yeah Jesus Christ so okay first this is before the the shit in the pants fucking killing a kid incident the whole thing of this story is there is essentially the plot is the hattori clan which is an old clan that was in konoha had a bunch of members and their matriarch a woman was married to this man named sujin and he was an otsutsuki and now after years and years of them trying to get married then there was this whole <clears throat> second great ninja war in which she sealed herself in the Blade of Broken Mirrors. Mm -hmm. And now, this man Sujin, after years and years and years and years, all the way to the present, is finally trying to get this blade. As he's finally mingled into society and he's become the Mizukage's assistant, which they find out after they attend a banquet in Sunagakure. Mm -hmm. And that leads to this whole quest line of trying to get this Blade of Broken Mirrors, leading to them actually getting it. A bit later down the line they end up going to yukigakure finding out of this whole coup that's going on with um who was it uh it's a goblin village and... the, yeah deeper in is this place called elysia or some shit or 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 erringard or, or, or something i forget what i named it and there there's it's this goblin village that um donzo has been revived essentially as well and he's under sujin's control so when they're at this village, there's a bunch of Edo Tensei guards everywhere, and they're stealing these goblins as, like, hostages or just, like, people they could use for armies. So they break in by basically disguising yourselves, and you get in with this uh, old goblin man named Taco, Sasuke Uchiha, who you told him to meet there, and um, his daughter. So you all sneak into this village, 
and managed to find another group of goblins, which was Father Toki <clears throat> and um, Gates, his um, hobgoblin friend. And then you guys are basically tasked with clearing out this dungeon to find this blade because Sasuke told you that the blade, he had it in his possession, was stolen by the dragon. So they go into this giant fucking dungeon and meet a man, or meet, first they meet a goblin named Pygmy who was missing an ear and he basically has no memory and he's this cool warlock guy. Then they find his boyfriend basically, <laughs> Jack Frost, who basically yes. has lived in this dungeon for years because Sujin trapped them in there with the dragon and then they fight this awesome epic dragon and it leads them to finding the blade of broken mirrors but before that back when we were like in the actual town in the town they had to save some uh npcs that were locked away some other goblins like the mayor who was very fat and almost died of a heart attack three times <laughs> and then there was um uh the bugbear and his goblin husband or her goblin husband um but Jeremiah's character uh, made some baby dragons fly around because they you were using them as sentries. And he used stone pillars on them and crucified <laughs> a baby dragon. He didn't need to do that, by the way. He could have just stabbed it in the heart, in the head, and killed it. Nah, this man just crucified But no, he fucking them. middle of Crucified it. <laughs> Which is fucking horrendous. Like, that was all his idea. Yeah. <laughs> He just decided, yep, I'm gonna fucking yeah, I'm just gonna publicly them. display this crucified baby dragon. And of course, there's the other team, which is, um, see, they're a part of this thing called the Neo Ombu, which I made after the Chunin exam, since they needed to get places without <clears throat> being locked to still being a Chunin. So Kakashi, who's the current Hokage during this time, recruits them, and majority of the other team, other teams, um, but there's two people from the Stone Village, who are there as well, Rinka and Niles, and they're twins. Uh, Rinka is the four-tailed beast in Cherokee, and Niles has one Rinnegan in his eye, and he keeps it under an eye patch. So these guys, basically, Niles loses in the first round to, was it? It was you, right? Was you. Yeah, so the, the double Rinnegan boy, Takuma, beats the one Rinnegan boy, Niles. Alright, that's fair enough. Yeah. And then he barely goes, won that. you barely won that one. And then you clapped his sister. Because <laughs> I let you have one chakra because you were taking so fucking long to kill her. Oh yeah, in, in the middle of combat, he like placed her in like a, what, what was it, a fissure? Yeah. yeah then like like he had her deep. trapped in this fissure and she couldn't get out. I but kept failing the deck to his, He had nothing to yeah, hit. Yeah, he kept throwing fucking swords at her. <laughs> in the hole. At disadvantage. Yeah. And then I went to sleep, remember? You said, I'm gonna take a micro nap. <laughs> and I'm like, to, to get chakra? You're like, yeah, I'm like, okay, <laughs> sure. Kevin short rested in the middle of a combat. I mean, it doesn't work, but it was taking so long <laughs> that I'm like, I will give you a chakra. Just try to kill her already. Oh, God. What was your guys' favorite moments from the campaign? Uh, that was it. I uh, had a baby. Applebee's. Oh, pfft. <laughs> so basically, um, this after is, this is before everything, they yeah. were gone for a little bit longer than a month from Konoha because yeah. they had to travel to Yukigakure, like I said, to deal with all this stuff with Sasuke and everything. And you had to deal with the Tifun village in Pakura as well because mm -hmm. that happened when they got there. <clears throat> so finally, they get back to the village and they find their friend Kaito Ken. My man. Kaito is a fucking beast. He, um, he isn't a ninja, but he is a samurai, basically. And he's accidentally put on this armor that is sealed to him, but now he's the spirit of Odo, Oda Nobunaga, which is a warlord from, like, the daimyo eras and shit. And he just has a ghost now. <laughs> Great. And That's he scary. also has up as a sword. But long story short, short, everyone goes back to the village. His whole team meets up with their team. I take a shower with him. You did. You've taken many showers with yeah. him. In the you, you like getting naked a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, like you just decided to take off your clothes out of nowhere. This is true. But basically, both teams kind of agree. We haven't seen each other in a while. Let's go out for dinner. 
So they go out for dinner to this place. I forget. It was like something grotto. But it's it like... <laughs> it was basically... They're yeah. like, what can we order? And I pulled out an Applebee's <laughs> menu and I sent it to them. <laughs> like, okay. Make your order. The thing is... None of the people who worked there were normal. They were, there was, um, <laughs> Ward Squid. Wards. There Bob was Bob Sponge <laughs> and, uh, uh, whatever I named Mr. Krabs. Yeah. It was basically the Krusty Krab. <laughs> so, Takuma ordered the super salad. Oh, uh, yeah. And it was just a bathtub full of salad. <laughs> and he ate it all. None of this was planned, by the way. No. We weren't planning on Applebee's. We weren't planning on fucking Spongebob characters as waiters. We weren't planning on the super salad. No. Like, this is all came up, like, as we were going. All I wrote in my notes was... Dinner. And it took longer than you It said. was maybe four hours. <laughs> and that was the whole session. <laughs> when I said super salad, I thought you were going to be like, super salad. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, I love the super salad. No, no, that was the joke, because I said, uh, super salad. Yeah, 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 and then you go soup or salad. salad. I'm like super, super salad. salad. <laughs> I love that. But yeah, Takuma just eats a bathtub of salad. <laughs> yeah, and what did what is he what did he get? He got a trophy or something. You got you got a mini bathtub trophy. Oh, he, <laughs> or yeah. something like. You, and then you wanted to keep the bathtub, <laughs> <laughs> which I said all right. The thing I left it there. What did you do with it? I think he left it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. That was one of the best sessions we ever had, and we didn't do any combat. Exactly. It was just pure And RP. then the next time they did real combat, because they had to travel to Kumogakure to meet with the Raikage, they got their asses fucking murdered. <laughs> Whipped. <laughs> so, basically, they were there to... So, there are these two weapons that Sujin is also after. There's the Shichi Seiken, which is a great holy sword, and the Sword of the Thunder God, <clears throat> which is like a lightsaber, basically. Mm-hmm. And these items, no one knows where the fuck they are. They might be on a convoy that was l- leading from um, the Mist Village to Kumogakure. So they investigate this stuff. And in this convoy with these Mist Ninja, the carts explode. Destroying the guard tower that they were in. And out come the Mist Ninja, Edo Tensei, of course, holding two coffins. Then I went ahead and hit some, like, Madara music. (laughs) And then two ninja that I made came out of these coffins. The first was, um, I forget his name, Kuroichi or something like that. Was this ginormous uh, lightning ninja with tattoos all over his arms and a ginormous hammer. And then there was Jay, this little 12 year old. Now Jay started to fly and left (laughs) before the fight even started. Yep. He said, I'll let you handle it. And he flies off. Now Donzo is an integral part in this whole story as well. He's been the the second tier antagonist that they've had to deal with this whole time while Sujin stays away and monitors even though he's the big bad so they have to fight this guy but he uses this technique called the 1000 heavenly spears where he sends up like maybe a storm of a million lightning bolts and he almost one shot all of them okay so we already took a lot of damage from the explosion yeah and then and then uh so just for some perspective i have the most health out of anyone in the entire group I have like over a hundred health. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I have 111 health. Oh my. Maximum. And like, what are we, level 10, 11? Yeah, I think you're level 11 now. So like, I've been rolling really well for health. Yeah, you've gotten like 12s a bunch of times. Like, <laughs> and so the, the, um, the explosion brought us all down like maybe 30 hit points or something like yeah. that. And then the, the fucking, um, the, whatever that move was, hit us all for like maybe 70. A little bit, yeah, like 70 or 80. Like... And then, and then, and then he targeted me yeah. <laughs> after it because I was like trying to get into my fifth gate, which is the most powerful gate that I have right now. And like, I was going to do some damage, but he too tapped me. Cause he saw it. He's like, mm. now this guy doesn't talk. He's just, he was just like a big angry dude. And Mukin, who's the tallest out of the group was like dwarfed by this guy basically. <laughs> So he saw this little scrawny white boy get ready to use some martial arts and he's like, no. And he, 
he then he down. he killed you. Then he went to fucking talk him and use lightning jab on him, yeah. which was just like a liver blow. And then like <laughs> it just like cracked all of his ribs. Oh, I remember. Yeah, we, that we got pretty fucked. You up. guys like got fucked up. We weren't supposed to win that fight, right? No, <laughs> I, you weren't. You weren't. I thought but, I'd kill you all with that move. But but we're so good. No. But we, we didn't do anything. That is no, true. Mugen, Jeremiah's, he, he was play. able to slowly come back because he spammed <laughs> his shadow clones. <laughs> See, the thing about this campaign is for me, it is so fucking hard to balance because the homebrew class they're using is fucking broken. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. all the time they're like, hey, Ant, you want to make this, this a jutsu? And I'll have to, like, create a spell. <laughs> like, I have to make it. And then I'm like, is this even balanced? <laughs> and then you use it like once. I'm like, oh, fuck. That's not that's Like, not I can't change it. Time to nerf. Yeah. You gotta nerf them. I've nerfed some shit before. You, you guys have. Shadow clones. I nerfed I Shadow Clones. I nerfed the fucking Chalker Pills. Am I chains? I made. No, your chains were just weird. Yeah. Like, it doesn't yeah. say how they work. They weren't properly defined. They, yeah, they weren't like. Yeah, the yeah, fine one. Well. Neither are your black receivers. receivers. Your black receivers are fucking stupid. Yeah. Like they like I don't think you could revive that many people. <laughs> I think you could do like <clears throat> one at a time. In like it doesn't even say in combat. I yeah, think it's like, outside of combat, because it's not like an action. Huh. It's just a thing you have. <laughs> which is fucking weird. Theoretically you could. You I could, know. but there needs to be a limit. Like it needs to be a corpse in combat. It can't be like an army. <laughs> I did that, remember? You did! You saw me <laughs> four ninjas! Like, there were like four or five Miss Ninja that, were with, that were with like... the guy, and Kevin just decided to res them all. Yeah, I was like, you're with me now. And then the and guy was just like, okay. Wait until this next campaign. Oh. I'm not letting you. You can do like. No. You can. Everything has to be like whatever I own, basically. Mm -hmm. So, every like any book that I have, you can pick from there. But this next campaign, I don't think it, we're not gonna do evil because that's too hard to run. Mm -hmm. I might, I might make another map. Cause that one's kind of lame. But my idea was like for the for the evil campaign was like they're like these lowly little little business demons, right? That's all you guys, yeah, and you want to climb to the ninth gate of hell. Mm -hmm. You gotta climb up the chain, so you have to go out into these devil spires, and you have to you come out of these, and you have to go like do crime basically. <laughs> Yes! And then I had an idea for a Pokemon campaign Ooh. where, like, the Mafia is, like, running the, like, the Team Rocket shit uh. and they just kill people and kill Pokemon because they can. Jesus. And they, like, do, like, illegal fighting instead of these sanctioned Pokemon fights. Uh. So th then there would be, like, the Godfather, but he would be called the Mon Father. The Mon Father. What the? Dude, the Pokemon shit is so cool, but it's so fucking hard to learn. Really? Yeah. But yeah, we're not going to be running any new campaigns for No, Naruto is maybe, like, I sped it up because I do want to get to a normal campaign. Because, like, Naruto is getting stale. Yes. I'm not going to lie. And I know all of you guys can feel it, too. Like, these characters, they're great. And you guys have fleshed them out. It's just, what else is there to do in Naruto? Yeah. Not that much. Not a lot. I'm very much limited to my resources. To like? We need to get through the story. Yeah, once you're done with the story and you hit like a decent like I'm gonna start like power leveling you guys. Once Naruto? you start like killing the big guys. Oh, I introduced this thing called the Four Horsemen. If you remember that from a couple sessions ago. But they're very cool. And one of their old buddies is on it. No the thirsty ass. I gotta pee. Of course you gotta pee. What's your next one? The hotel one? That was cool. What? The hotel one. What hotel one? You just said. What? The, the nine you know? gates of hell? No, yeah. that one I said. Oh, that I was just the hotel. idea. Hotel. You're thinking of our channel. Yeah. The Spanish yeah. Hotel. Hey, if you haven't already, drop a sub. So. Ring the bell for notifications. Yeah. And that is the end because we are bad at outros. No, yeah. no, we're great. I guess this was the D and D episode. Yeah, Loki. Talked yeah. about it for like forty minutes. God damn. <laughs> What's the time? Fifty something. Fifty four. Yeah, I guess it's time to end it. Well, welcome to season two, like I said, and I guess that's a wrap for episode one <laughs> of season two. We'll see you guys next we're not, time. We're not gonna reset episode by the end of the year. Bye. Bye. Bye.